Yo, Suga, the beach is up ahead. He's on the surface? He didn't tell me where we were going, no. Oh, no matter how many times I asked. We left for the mystery location when night fell. Wow, he's on the surface. What a weird, uh... <laughs> what a weird disposition. Huh? Yosuga, don't tell me you're... You were going to take me to Tenyo Island. We can't get there. Dude, what good is this going to be if we get wrecked by the whirlpools? Uh-uh. Well, yes, I do want to go back home. But no matter how close it is, it's impossible. Do you see those whirlpools and that large one there? Only Tsukiyomi can get past them. Oh, maybe Tsukiyomi taught him how to get past them. That's right. He's a smart guy. He's not going He unraveled the, moon, the mooring line. Oh my god. Mooring line. A rope used to tie a boat to shore. Thank you. I would have never guessed because I don't really do a lot of seaside activities. <laughs> Little lie. What do you mean? Did Tsukiyomi tell you that? Oh my. I guess, yeah, we have we would have to do it at night. I can't think of a reason to stop him. I looked briefly at Tenyo Island before putting my hand on the edge of the boat. Oh, God. I know we're out here already, but please don't push yourself. If you think we can't get through, we can turn around if you, like you said... Yosuga smiled as he continued rowing the boat. あの白の最後起こった時、僕はちょうど関の次元殿のお屋敷でご厄介になっていたんだ。あの方は稀人だろ。薬に関する珍しい知恵をお持ちでそれを学びに出ていただから幼い僕は何も知らなかったんだ姉が父が母が白に倒れたことヨスグズ voice was quiet for a moment all i could hear was the sound of the waves and the oars 僕は思うんだなぜすぐに医者を呼ばなかったのかってうん白の恐ろしさは分かっていたはずなのになぜ外に助けを呼ばなかったんだろうってあの日 僕の目の前で死のすべては炎に包まれてしまった。汚れは炎によって清められるから。He spoke in a calm and solemn tone. The waves that beat against the sides of the boat were louder than he was. そして僕はあの読みに住まうものとなった。僕を食べなかった占いやこの海の向こうの世界一族ですら知らなかったような珍しい薬の調合本当にさまざまなものを教えてもらった彼のおかげで今の僕がある
It's a different flashback. I ain't gonna suck my teeth. <clears throat> Boys? So, Mukou no Shima ni iru. Huh? Ooh, that was random. <laughs> That's strange. I heard that somewhere before. <laughs> the boat lurched just as I saw the edge of an old memory. We were much closer to the whirlpools now. <gasps> Please don't crash. Ahead of us were giant whirlpools that twisted like dark, angry snakes. They surged and grew like mouths that wanted to swallow us whole. Yosuga, do you hear that? It's no use, and it's so dark out here. We should head back. Suddenly, something unexpected happened. The whirlpools are disappearing? I wasn't just imagining things. The torrents that had been raging just a moment ago, slowly subsided as we approached. Okay, so... Makes sense. But... How does Tsukiyomi get through? Huh? They're like, hey, let her through. I sat stunned as my strength began to leave me. The whirlpools had all but vanished now. Uh, unbelievable. Tsukiyomi never told me that before. Well, that makes sense, but... The boat slowly continued on its way. Back to the island I had been longing for. Mother, everyone. Seeing the beach come into view brought tears to my eyes. I felt that I might drop to my knees and weep the moment we landed. So, oh my god, we're actually here. <gasps> I, could, oh, <laughs> I couldn't hold them back anymore. Tears began to flow at the sight of the familiar structures covered in moss. I, I'm sorry. It's just that it's been so long. Damn, the homie Brosuga. The only one so far to bring us here. Yosuga gently rubbed my back. But I don't want him to see me break down like this. It only took 10 years or so. All the structures and trees were completely covered with green moss. Yet strangely enough, it didn't feel like it was in ruins. I think Kimizu Spring should be up ahead. With Yosuga at my side to support me, I walked atop the carpet of moss. Finally. Oh my gosh. Ah. I finally crumpled to my knees, seeing something that I thought I'd never see again. Just only in my flashbacks when I was with my mother, I saw them. But yeah. Look at all those Iroha flowers. The flowers stretching out like the threads of pure white of a pure white cocoon, 
swayed bewitchingly in the night breeze, nestled around the spring. Thin vines spread out across the place, twisted into knots and blending into the stone. I never imagined this place could look um, like this. The Iroha flowers have been blooming here for as long as I can remember. But I never thought I I never thought there could ever be this many. It was as if they were protecting the now abandoned grounds. Was it nostalgia that was making me feel this way? I cautiously, excuse me, I cautiously reached out to scoop the water into my hands. It's cold. I'm not dreaming any of this. I really am back on Tenyo Island. That's right. It's a part of the ritual for me to wear one when I pray to Lady Amaterasu. Demo Butai de Nai Tokimo So Ste Kazate Ryone. I instinctively reached for the Iroha flower on my cap. I wonder if this is or bleh. I wonder if it's like a talisman. This flower is the only thing that connects me to this island. Looking at it encourages me. I guess it's just a part of me now. I picked the flower that was in bloom beside me. Maybe I don't need to ask Tsukuyomi to get them for me anymore if we can row past the whirlpools. Kiyosuga gently smiled and picked up the, and picked an Iroha flower as well. After twisting the stem gently in his fingertips for a moment, he delicately set it down on the surface of Ikimizu Spring. Yes, but only because we played two other rounds. <laughs> Lunar Fairy? I don't think so, but indulge me. To take him here? How strange. I've never heard of that before. Or I never heard that before. I wonder if it's similar to the Moonlight Shell legend you told me before. It was like being struck by lightning. I could only look at Yosuga without saying a word. Well, um, that's... なぜ男がいないのに子が生まれるのか考えたことはなかった。Well, I was only five years old when I left this island, so I never really thought about it, as you shouldn't, because <laughs> you're just a child. I only learned how babies were born after living on Tengu Island. My mother just told me that she found my father washed ashore. I thought he somehow made it through the whirlpool. So I figured it was just the same for bleh. So I figured it was the same for everyone else on the island. But but 
Yomi did teach me a lot of things besides that. He taught me reading, arithmetic, and the world beyond the ocean. He read a lot of books to me, and he tended to me when I was hurt. And, girl, you sure that's not your father? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, he's doing stuff like a father should. もう君には関係のない話だと思ったのかな。この島の女は誰もいなくなり、月の船を途絶えてしまったから。うーん。現に君はあの天宮島で花婿探しを始めたわけだし。I guess you're right. An image came to mind. Of a boat floating atop the waves on the night of a full moon. But, in fact, that story you told me was not a story of Tsukuyomi. Really? Then who? ならないと思っていた僕たち死の男が幼い頃から繰り返し聞かされる話があるちゃん I think I think the damn like the control is acting like I'm mashing hold on let me see okay no it just it moves so fast sometimes y'all I'm sorry I wanted to check Yosuga what what the please move われら死の男を殺した。もし島に上がることが叶ったら。やだ、you <笑> Yeah, Domo. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we got it. Yosuga knows. Don't. Oh, well, she didn't scream it. Whatever. D don't tell me that you brought me here tonight to kill me. The icy cold tip of his smoke pipe chased along my skin.君は聞いたことがないよ。仲間が死の男を殺した話を。ドンドゥ。ドンドゥ。ドンドゥ。ドンドゥ。ドンドゥ。ドンドゥ。ドンドゥ。ドンドゥ。ドンドゥ。ド
Oh no. But she trusts him. Oh my god. I'm sorry. An apology spilled from my mouth. Girl, why are you apologizing? You did not do anything. But... Yo, Suga, what the fuck is this? I thought this was gonna be romantic, but then, well, that went way south. I know I don't need to, but as a white, the more I said it, the worse I felt. No, even if I apologize, that man won't come back to life. But excuses and apologies meant nothing now. A growing sense of hopelessness slow slowly silenced me. Yasuda! <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. Where is this going, child? Oh my god! Huh? Oh no. 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 Oh I looked up at him breathlessly. Me? Kill Yosuga? It sounded as though he was talking to someone else. There was a sorrow in his voice that I couldn't understand. His cold, sweet voice and the look in his eyes made me tremble. He was so close that I could feel his breath. No, I won't. The pipe against my throat twitched just a little, or just a bit, sorry. I will never kill you. That's the answer lay deep within my heart, but was still, bleh, but was still too fragile and afraid to reveal itself. Hey man, ain't nobody safe for you to kill me either. Come on, man, C cut up, cut this out, man, cut this bullshit out. Come on. <laughs> His words weakened my whole body. He was, <coughs> excuse me. He too was the only survivor of his people. The weight he carried on his back was one that I carried as well. Is it? Really your wish to kill me and have your revenge. Come on, man. Come on, put that pipe down. The silver pipe against my neck twitched again. So Hito why in the world was he saying that now? <clears throat> Instead of trying to push him away from me, I simply gazed up into his eyes. That was the big mistake I made, but we'll see where this Otome logic goes. 
死の戸川を背負い後輩を禁じられた身だだがそんな僕の前にもしも魂の半身が現れたら<笑>この僕を恋に狂わせるようなもの信じられたからと諦められる程度のものならそれは愛でも恋でもないだろうとつくやみは本当にたくさんのことを僕に教えてくれた石化の際を起きる前この天女島に住んでいた女の子のこととかその子が虹を見てはしゃいだとか海蛇から泣いて逃げたとか一緒に船の上で昼寝をしたとかそれは僕が聞かされていた白の女の姿とは全く違っていた。島に上がった男を誘惑して無残に食らい尽くすようなそんな恐ろしい化け物にはとても思えなかった髪も肌も全てが真っ白いというのはどんな姿なんだろう人には一体どのようにきらめくんだろうどんな声で笑うんだろうそして彼女は僕に A soft light filled his eyes for a moment. でもあっけなくそんな無双は終わった石化の際が起きてしまったから王のドーマ殿に引き取られると聞いて僕は勝手に絶望したきっと地上に住む尊いお方になってしまって読みになんて絶対に降りてこないだろうもし何かの間違いで降りてきたとしても読みに住まう僕などに目もくれないだろうそう思っていたが楽しそうに手紙の配達なんて始めてしまった He was talking about me I was the last of the white bloodline the one taken in by Doma the one delivering letters だからね確かめてみたくなった僕の魂の半身が本当にこの世界にいるのか The hand gripping the smoke pipe loosened Oh, don't you have to do that again? <laughs> oh my Ooh, I heard that Sorry God, don't you ever! Why would you do that? That would, that would, that would kill the moment so fast for me. And the music doesn't help either. So what, what, what are you doing now? Ah! I was transfixed by the sight of his graceful, slender fingers unraveling my ribbon. Hold up! Wait, we didn't come. Wow, oh, good. The next moment, my body went tense at the feeling of his lips on my neck. S Stop, Yo Suga. Yame t a k u n a i He's talking all deep and gravelly. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> next was my skirt. 
His fingers lifted it up, gently caressing my thigh up to my hip. Stop. Let me go. You had heard her say stop twice now. Come on. I was powerless with fear, unable to move. Uh, yeah. Mm. My hip rose naturally as he gently dimpled my ear. Overwhelming my desire to escape him was a lustful flame that burned inside me. Yes, girl, I knew. We are chumps. Number one. Sasha, read who's saying the line first. Number two. Well, if I'm walking funny, they're going to know something's wrong. <laughs> he sucked hard on my neck, making me gasp. His palm pressed against my thigh and spread my legs apart. Ooh. No. <laughs> Come on! Stop that! See, he's trying. He's, he's gonna try. To, if not to kill me, for me to kill him. Cut that out, man. Hakunandaro. <laughs> oh my god. Cut that out. <laughs> He pushed himself between my widely open legs. Just thinking of the kind of position I was in made it hard for me to breathe. The tip of his tongue traced the edge of my collarbone, and my hips quivered again. I was so embarrassed and ashamed, but my body was accepting his weight against me. Oh my God, why are you like this? His fingers inched up my thigh again. No. Please, wait. I mustered a feeble attempt to protest, but I was so overcome by emotion that the rest of my strength left me. Suddenly, I no longer felt the weight of his body against mine. What was that? What was that? I don't like this. Oh no. Yeah, Suga. Look at it. Look at the poor babies. Ribbon and clothes. They're all disheveled. Ano otoku ga itte daro. Boku ga kotowareba. But why did you make it awkward like that? <sighs> the man I had only known by name. Suddenly, an image of me being touched by this faceless man appeared in my mind. No. It was far different. Blech. It was a far different kind of fear than the one I experienced just a moment ago. There was no excitement, no affection. This new idea was so frighteningly unpleasant that it made my stomach churn. 
You're gonna kill him? Yosuga? He said it without any reservation. It was even more ruthless than before, but somehow strangely beautiful. I knew how foolish it was for me to fall for him even more. Girl, what's up, you still? <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all can hear that face palm right now. What do you mean by do away with? Clap him, 86 him, make him swim with the fishes. I don't know how he's going to plan on killing him. But you get the picture. Wait, don't do that. Yosuga looked at me with cold eyes. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, yes, that's how he, that's how Sakyo pretty much is what he's doing. You ain't gotta put the play by play like that in front of me, bro. Come on, man. Yosuga, <laughs> What crawled up your ass, Yosuga? Come on, bro. I couldn't respond. Of course, I didn't want that to happen. But is that any reason to kill someone? He chuckled as if he knew what I was thinking. I hate that. I kind of agree with him. You really can't be a bleeding heart all the time. You gotta reserve it for when... For people who are needing and deserving of your compassion. He said it so naturally. Obsessed. <laughs> like that. Oh, sweetheart, you're giving me if I can't have you, no one can tease. Like, oh, it's kind of creeping me out. Yosuga? I wasn't sure what expression I should have on my face. Especially after what he just did a moment ago. Yeah, don't forget that. Oh, my God. oh my god, the path will be bloody. Oh no. Now we now we know who he is. What the fuck? Why are you talking like that? <laughs> the file? Why don't you just say, I wish to... Ugh. What, what is a good adjective to replace? I simply wish to... I don't know, have you for myself. Wow, we'll, we'll call it like that. Why do you gotta say the file, man? Come on. Uh. Like, real bad. 
I, I have the feeling. That was scared of a bad ending, y'all. Keep in mind, he's telling you this. He's telling you this. So you better not be falling in love with him. He's telling you this. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't myself know love enough to answer his question, but I knew enough he was batshit crazy, and I should run away from him. I was sure even the dictionaries in the library at the manor wouldn't contain the words I was looking for. Uh, okay, girl, we, we, we cut this crap short. Oh my god. Girl, ain't no place for you to run or something. That's the point. That's the I won't kill you. I spoke before I even realized it. Because I decided to never use my power on anyone again, and... Sorry. Never mind. And because I have feelings for you. <laughs> oh, God. Dad, this is like the typical lifetime story. Love after lockup. Um... Whatever the case may be, where you know he's giving you all these red flags, and you are in choosing, you are choosing to ignore them like an idiot. I couldn't say that to him. I was afraid that if I told him, he would take me completely, body and soul. I can say this. I want you to live. So. He doesn't want you to live. So what? What? What, what sense does that make? Uh oh. <laughs> Biakio, what the fuck do we get into? The corners of his lips raised slightly, but I couldn't tell whether it was a smile or not. You don't know. <laughs> now that smiles forever creepy. Kawari to it wa nan da kedo. Boku to tori hiki shinai ka. Okay. Huh? Boku o otto ni iran de hoshi. Sakyo o yudan saseru tame ni. Chad, that's worse than Akaza. Akaza just said, hey, if nobody else fulfills the role i'll do it i'll do it you know whatever right he's like yosuga's like okay choose me as your husband we can catch sakyo off guard and i can clap him and then anybody else and then maybe you if i really feel like it, if i'm really that crazy <gasps> Oh god. In a different context, I would love this. <sighs> ah. Wait, I told you already that I don't want you to kill him. 
奴のことを何も知らないからだよ。うん。うん。His eyes. The memory was still fresh in my mind. They were the same hate filled eyes from when he gazed into Shinimizu Spring. Sakyo no koto wa odoroi ta to omo. Demo, kore wa kimi dake no mondai dewa nai nda. Osoraku kare no mou hitotsu no mokromi wa boku o kesu koto da ro kara. Yosuga? Once more, he was able to say such a horrible thought so casually. Boku a gun no josobu no shubu o ikutsu mo nigitte ite. Kare ni totte wa kono ue naku jama na sonzai da. Kimi ni kou o umase ta ato, nanra ka no katachi de boku o kesu. Tayoru mono o ushinatta kimi ya kou o zonbun ni kenkyu dekiru. もしかしたら僕は生かされてはいるから僕の命を盾に君を脅迫できるようにそれともやはり僕を消して新しく他の色の男と婚姻を結ばせようとするだろうか言い伝えでは白の女は白しか産まないそれを確かめるために全部の色相の男と婚姻を結ぶことになるかもね。Ola, Ola, Ola, what? Is this something that he, like you, have hard evidence of? Well, not, or even somewhat feasible evidence of? That's like a far-fetched, um,、uh, why、well, would I even say fantasy? That's so. Crazy visualization, dude. But the scary thing is, I don't put Sakyo past that. Stop! Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god. Yo, what the fuck is going on? So, the cry. Ten you told no haku and nazo no. Kimi wa fu honi da taka mo shire nai kedo. 今までドーマ殿の屋敷に引きこもっていて正解だったと思うでも君は夫を探すためにあそこから出た赤座からしてみれば誠意だったと思うけど左京にとってはまたとない好機だ18を迎えた君は後輩してこう産むことができるからねそして僕は栄えある一番目の夫に He twirled my ribbon around his finger and gave it a kiss No, you blew your chance on trying to look sexy right now You look terrifying to me You chill, you chill with that The mere gesture sent a sweet shiver through my body. If all this is true, then you don't need to be my husband and risk danger. I bit my lip a little. Just two weeks ago, when I was completely isolated at the manor, I would have laughed at those words. But I couldn't laugh it off now. What happened back in Yomi came back to me. いずれ生まれるであろう子を守れなくとも構わないと<笑> Those words jog my memory 
君が子を産み新しい白が増えたら長になるわけだし。I made up my mind back then to bear children of the white, to lead and to protect them. Well, of course I want to protect them. After answering excuse me, in a shaky voice, I realized that I still didn't have a firm vision of the future yet. My child, someone else of the white blood beside me. I joke. Kim, you are not even snuck to eat. ただ僕を愛するふりさえしてくれれば。I mean, of course, Olympia is gonna be like, no, but I actually loved you for real. I, or I love you for real. <sighs> Jesus, Yosuka, why? Why did you do this? Well, but. 君は嘘が全くつけないから、人を欺くことに向いてない。手を汚すようなことはすべて僕がやるこの世界の醜いことをすべて引き受けるために僕はにいるのだから He said it without a shred of hesitation That was who he was I was again overwhelmed and saddened at the same time This world was responsible for making Yosuga say such horrible things. All the unsightly matters sorrow, joy, frustration. My emotions were too much to handle anymore. Kimi no Totonaru Otoko Tskuritai to you. Kare no Kangaiwa Machigatti Nai. Shima no Minakara Agamerare. Osore Rare to Kimi da. どこの馬の骨とも知れない男の子を産んだりしたら外し云々の問題も出てくる仮にも独式で決しても惜しくない花婿としては僕が素晴らしく適役だろ Stop it. ただ逆にもし僕と恋仲夫になんて瓦版が出たら君に恋する純朴な青年は恋破れたと嘆き悲しんで遠ざかってしまうだろうね。I almost told him there was no such person, but I had a meager sense of dignity remaining and a feeling that if I answered that way, it would be taken as acceptable of his proposal. A assuming, just assuming, my voice shook with embarrassment. Assuming an article came out about your becoming my husband, and assuming you got rid of him, then what? Mada wa karanai. Sakki no kotoba wa nani hitotsu tekkai shinai yo. Dakou to omoeba, boku wa ima kono ba de kimi o dakeru. Would it be an embrace of love or an embrace to suffocate me and kill me? The world may never know. Tada, Kimi ga mada soko made boku o aishite wa inai koto mo wakatte ru. Well, of course not now. Maybe before all this, sure. Huh? I heard a gasp of amazement coming from somewhere, but I realized it was my own voice. だからこの取引は僕たちのこれからを確かめるためでもあるんだ君は僕を今夜殺さない程度には執着してくれているらしいだから君が本当に僕を愛してくれるのか僕が君を愛しているのかもし僕に魂の半身という女性がいるのならそれは That feeling inside me was still fragile and scared But strangely enough 
it burned with uh, it burned again with heat strong enough to feel the desire to kiss him now <sighs> child these anime girls these otome protags with their weird ass kinks all right girl you do you if he could only touch me to think that i only realized it now まあ、とにかくこれ以上の無理強いはしないよ。合意がなければただの強姦だし、恋愛は一方通行じゃ成立しないだろ。Why are you even talking like this? He spoke calmly without even a twitch of his brows. That's the scary part about it. Oh my God! Why are you? I can't tell if he's serious or indecisive. Of, of if or or if, or if he's simply playing with my feelings. This ain't the what. This ain't the way. This ain't the move. Kimi o mamoru to itta jana ka. ishi wa sai daigen sonchou suru yo. But, but he just. Blech. But, but he just untied my ribbon a while ago. I thought that to myself, but I was too embarrassed to say it out loud. Well, no wonder he's going to be like running wild when it comes to you because you don't assert yourself. But, I don't know, I don't know whatever. I'm getting too old for this shit. I understand what you're telling me, but... As far as becoming my husband goes, I can't give you my answer now. So? <laughs> yeah, you kind of fucked up the ball. You kind of like fumbled it real bad. I'm not trying to defend that Sakyo person or anything, but it could be love that I felt for Yosuga. Even so, I couldn't entrust myself to him yet. He still concealed himself from me, even now. So much has happened. I don't think I can take any more now. I'd like to speak to you again later, after I've taken some time to calm down. Okay! And... And promise me this. Never take the ribbon off my blouse again without my permission. You can do other stuff to you though. Just say never touch me without my permission. I nodded repeatedly in response. Yeah, sure. Take me back. Thanks a lot. This this date sucks. I'm surprised that damn guys didn't like strike you with lightning or something. What the fuck? Like, you could have full, like, full on violated Byakia and nothing happened. Child! Oh gosh. I'm back, Taifuku. Well, you stupid rat! Yeah, you you were saying something, but of course I don't understand you. But you should have told the reader. <laughs> we can understand you. Kikiki. Oh, I didn't say it. I'm back, Daifuku. I went to Tenyo Island tonight. Kiki. <laughs> it isn't set in stone yet, but I think Yosuga is going to be my husband for some time. Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> that rat said, what? Girl, you better stop talking. It seems like, long ago, someone on Tenyo Island killed a man from the purple. <laughs> a sweetheart, she don't understand rat. Okay, calm down. Daifuku was squeaking intensely at me. I must have made him so worried. 
虹を見てはしゃいだとか、海蛇から泣いて逃げたとか、一緒に船の上で昼寝をしたとか。すべてが真っ白いというのはどんな姿なんだろう There are so many things in this world that I still don't, under, still don't know about <笑>そして彼女は僕に Huh? Come to think about it What was he about to say? Maybe I simply misheard him with everything else that was going on. I don't know how you gonna mishear him, but whatever. So much had happened. My mind and heart were at their limit. I somehow managed to change my clothes before collapsing onto my bed in exhaustion. <laughs> We get a thud too. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing beautiful about that handkerchief. Damn that. <laughs> oh, God. Well, woke up blushing. That's our Biakia. But that was a lot. That was a lot to digest, y'all. Oh, my good googly moogly. Yosuga, why? 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 I knew you. Well, there I go. No, no, no. I'm actually gonna hold my. I'm gonna hold the L, thinking he was just an all-around good guy. When he mentioned people, when people tell you who they are, when people show you who they are, believe them the first time. When he brought up that example. With the you don't know me, you don't know if I murdered like a hundred people before. We should have, we should have took that to heart. But y'all, my goodness, what a chapter! Jeez Louise, Biakia girl, I'm surprised you was able to sleep. That adrenaline should have been pumping. Pumping inside of you. But folks, as you know, usual, end of the chapter, end of the video. So I want to thank you all for tuning in with your girl. We so appreciate you stopping on by. Y'all know my philosophy on this YouTube shit. Be what you wanna, do what you wanna, and I'll see you lovely lads and lassies in the next episode. So until then, my friends, take care. Take it easy. And...